tonight, and uh, I wish you all well in, in, in your bid for City Council. It's a big job, as well we know. Um, many of us in the room have thought about running ourselves uh, many times, and um, because the work needs to be done, that is the most important work. And um, I would like to hear from each of you, I appreciated your biographical information that you gave. I'd like to hear from each of you, Monica, you made mention of it, but I'd like to hear about your employment, what your employment is, uh, where you work, and what your role there is. Um, and then I'd like to hear your ideas about three different hot topics that affect us all in the city. And the first is the approval of the Fain Tower in the Jewelry District. The second is uh, the takeover of the De Department of Education by the state. And, um, and uh, the third is the, um, the recent real estate tax bills that came out that seem to be affecting people very differently in different areas of the city. And, and for full disclosure, Doug's so, going to share the neighborhood association. So, yes, yeah, so I chair um, a crime watch for all of Police District 2, which is all of Elmwood and all of South Providence. Okay. Thank Great. You. So, we're going to start with Pedro. We're going to try two minutes. If, if we clearly are missing, if you try and take the questions in order, then if we have to loop back, we can. You know, everybody being sort of in the same spot. Go. We just split it up a little bit. Yeah. Uh, my line of work for over 25 years, I've been doing uh, real estate investment. I acquire real estate, I develop that, and I make it affordable to the people uh, with low income. I have, my average tenant stays at my house for over 10 years. And that, that, uh, most of the time, 90% of the time, they're movements because I help them uh, buy their own home. So I teach them how to do it. It's very rewarding. There's a housing crisis. I'm glad to be able to. Uh, to bring some comfort to some family, but I cannot do it for everyone. So we need more people like myself, and we need the city to start to invest more in affordable housing. In regards to the faint tower, when I ran last year, I was against it. There was not full disclosure, there was no transparency. We didn't really know what kind of a deal was being made. Now, economic development is great. It'll bring a lot of jobs for years and years. Yes, and it'll bring a, a lot more tenants to the city of Providence, more people paying taxes. But let's look at the hidden detail. Let's look at the fine print. Uh, talk about uh, TSA, Tax Stabilization Agreement. We don't fully know when they're giving uh, the faint tower uh, owners. Uh, we don't know if it's going to be a 20 year deal and then automatically renew it after 20 years. We just don't have the information. Now, uh, I like to see some of the TSA go to small businesses. That can spur economic development and that can bring more uh, a higher wage, uh, and, uh, the small business will be able to pay a better wage to the employees if we can do something with taxes. Uh, in regards to the education, well, you know, we're desperate. There is an education crisis. I have a 14 year old right now that attends a public school. Uh, and uh, so anything that, that brings hope, that we feel that can be better, we work on that, but let's look at details again. We're, mm -hmm. we're, we're tired of being played with. The tax mm -hmm. bill, we need a better, better tax uh, system. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it, it's not equitable, it's not fair, it's not progressive. We need to work on mm -hmm. Thank you. That was amazing. <laughs> well, that was a little fast, but you know. Okay, so what do I do? Um, is that the time? I work on that one, I'm in the scrap business. Okay, I use a construction company called Coventry Forms. I have one called Providence Concrete Forms. I find the, uh, uh, the construction business in the last five years to be very dangerous, okay? Between workers' comp and insurance, just looking for a lot of trouble, okay? I like the scrap business, okay? Uh, uh, Allen's Avenue is the dirtiest street in Providence, mm -hmm. okay? We've got scrap guys that aren't supposed to be there, scrap guys that are there. Um, I often said to people when the state took that bond over and took some of that land, that that land should have been put aside for a, a, for a, for a truck stop or, or an information center or something like that. It would have been perfect, okay? But that's not me. So that, that, that's what I do for a living. I actually broke my shoulder six weeks ago. I haven't worked for six weeks, and I won't be working for another four weeks at least, okay? Now, when it comes to Fane Tower, Fane Tower, as far as I'm concerned, they wanted to build three of them, and they wanted to build them all the way to the moon. God bless them. 
Okay, I find what the problem with Fane Tower is right now is two things. First of all, everybody wants money, okay, to grease my palms to make this project work. I've been in the, the building, okay? Everything works fine when you give a campaign contribution. Now, the only problem that I ever had with Fane Towers is, is, is that I was given a little heads up that if the Fane Tower did not work out, that they had a buyer for Fane Tower. Okay, the buyer, and the buyer was Brown University. Okay, and as we can see right now, some of this 195 land is being used for Brown University now. Okay, the Wexford building. The first floor is Brown University, okay? I'm gonna say some really strong things about Brown University during my, my campaign. Okay, the education, all I can tell you is everybody come tomorrow and I will show you what the education thing is all about. The tax bill, the tax bill was a scam, okay? Why did our tax assessor leave his job, okay? Because they lied on the tax bill to deceive the bondholders, okay? That's what happened, okay? All the right, we're, we're at okay, time, but, but we'll see if we can start going around. Those are the questions. Like, <laughs> Virgil, Green Tower, the province takeover, yeah, schools right. and uh, taxes. taxes. Yes. Okay, perfect. What do you do for the so, like I mentioned, I'm a social worker. I mm -hmm. uh, went to Rhode Island College and got my uh, bachelor's degree. Um, my third child was two weeks old when I crossed the stage, so I'm very proud of that. Um, I work in foster care agency right now. I worked in early intervention. I worked in Providence Talks, <coughs> and now I work for a foster care agency um, where we do uh, therapeutic treatment for foster children. Um, so that's what I do now. Um, so, Fane Tower, you know, I'm... I'm all about building, but I want to build build good things, and I want to build things that are um, that are going to fit into what we want, uh, how we want um, our city to grow. Not just somebody coming out and saying, "Oh, well, I want to put this thing here," and then you know, getting our tax money uh, to build it. We need to put that money and that tax rates into our school systems, into all these other things, and we can't afford to keep giving money out to these businesses and to these developers who are coming out of nowhere. They say, you know, we have the TSA things in place and it's like, well, no, the, those have to go into our schools. We need that money. Um, and so what I am about building and I want to build good things and I want the, uh, the jobs to be for people who live in Providence, not just a handful of people. I want a lot of that. Uh, those workers, whether it's iron workers, whether it's carpenters, electricians, to come from, to actually come from Providence and I want somebody to hold um, you know, there's things in place, but nobody really um, holds these companies, um, you know, up to the stand and say, yeah, you know, you know, you're not, you're not doing what you're supposed to be doing. Uh, the school takeover, we have to know a lot of information because right now, all we know, there's some takeover, and some lady from somewhere came, and we don't know all the details. And I want to find out those details, and I want my constituents to be in that process of how, what's that going to look like. I don't want my constituents to say, well, somebody to come from the no, nowhere and say, hey, look at this idea yes. that we have. I want them to be in the process while these things are being developed. That's fine. Um,